Did I fix that? There we go. Now I can sit up straight. Even everybody. Anna and Cameron are back now, and we're going to play I Love You, Colonel Sanders again, because we hate ourselves. Or perhaps we love ourselves um, a lot. What about no you? No comment. All right. No comment. <laughs> we're getting this thing started. Colonel Sanders is looking at me with that finger looking good. Like, uh, he's got some good... Is he wearing eyeshadow? He looks looking like pretty he finger just has blocks, good today. like, where his he's, he's uh, eyelashes pretty, should be. Looking pretty finger looking good, if I do say so myself. Whoa, whoa, wait. Why were we at the school? We didn't end at the school, did we? Uh, this was probably before the night ended. We'll oh, see. is this Colonel Sanders? And he's talking to us Oh, okay, in the well... Yeah, we don't need to see that again. Is this the part where we kill that big monster thing? Here, let's get through this. Oh my I'm god, I can hear crying. him laughing now. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh my god. Yeah, right, this well, is when get we the... killed it. What do we do to be attacker? Or... Oh, well, let's get to the part where... Let's just keep attacking it this time instead of defending. Cook with love. Yeah, it worked last time. Uh, I don't know. We defended it last time. <laughs> I don't though. remember. Trem Trepidation. Oh, I remember this. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. then it goes and... I'm not gonna survive. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Then we attack again, cook with yeah. love. And then Colonel Sanders jumps in and he's just like, Ah, oh, take my cock thing and... You said you were... We, uh, we spared, we spared him. him, so we gotta keep with that. We gotta keep with the narrative. And then he goes away narrative. into the book of the, the, the Cochranomicon. And, you're dreaming, and you're now dreaming we're about dreaming. Him. Yes! That's where we left dead off. Dead kid. Yeah, because he's dead now. He's just he's just not coming back. It's this kid's, Well, I don't know. I feel like that dead, dead kid AF. is gonna show up every five this seconds. Kid's dead AF. He's definitely gonna show up eventually. But uh, Okay, uh, were you narrating? Would yeah. you like to continue the narration? I have no idea any of my voices. That's okay. We can just refigure them out. Well, There's well, no let's... sense of continuity here. Go for yeah, it. this is KFC. Okay. <laughs> you wait. You Hold on. Are you implying that KFC does not like keep their quality at every single bite of chicken, every single drumstick, every single have bucket? Have we even started? No. What? I don't know. Have we started? Yeah, of course we have. I don't know. Yeah. Look, if if you can see me there, that means we're good. You can also see you too. Look at that. That's great. Anyway, narrator, come on, narrate the game. Let's go. I can't do a British accent. That's, you don't have to. That's just me no. vibing. Just, it's fine. Vibing. Just go. Okay. Go. You do it. You know, it's when you put pressure on me, all I'm going to do is laugh. Pressure building. Stop it. Pressure building. Okay. You awake on day two and attempt to process the wild visions you had. Were they, were they memories or pre-nominations? Premonitions? Premonitions. <laughs> Remember, you can click with the space. I have a space bar, Yes, guys. you do. Oh, okay. And then there was the secret ingredient that Colonel Sanders went ahead and told you outright. Not much of a secret, huh? It's not special fluids or anything. It's not. I just, I said that. It's not fish special fluids that they cook it in, like, oil or something. It's, it's not. It's, it's probably not. just because he already trusts you so much. Yeah, like we just met, but I feel like I could marry this guy, honestly. We have three days in the school. We Think should have this. children together. This, me and this guy. Colonel Sanders. It's gonna be a good life. Yeah, we never decided if I was male or female in this universe. Does it matter? I don't know. Maybe it does to some people. I don't know. I, I feel like Colonel Sanders is the kind of guy who just, just takes them as they come. Like, What if my character wants to be uh, non-binary? Maybe, maybe he's just, he's just, uh, maybe Colonel Sanders is just, what's the, what's the proper Latin term for like a chicken? Foul sexual? Like, he feels no sexual feelings towards any other humans maybe he's into the machine like the furnace that is apparently alive oh god he's a technosexual sure that makes sense we'll go with that sure why not oh <laughs> so that was the narration <laughs> you meet up with your bestie in front of the school before you can tell her about the encounter with the spork monster she launches into her own I story was the spork monster that this is you this was me yeah this is you i was her yes you were are you sure positive okay okay I know this might sound a little strange, but I think I might be, um... Brigante? I, I think I might like Clank! Oh, God. Like him? Like, like, like? Like, like the things that swallow you whole in the Zelda games? I know it sounds like it's moving too fast, but there's something about him. I like him. I Speaking like, of moving like too him. fast, I think I should marry Colonel Sanders. We, the, 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 the union that is the both of us as this main character. I anyway. don't know. I this is this is too soon to be thinking about marriage here. We already have to deal with merit. I mean, she's pretty much. You could see it in her eyes. She's definitely thinking about having babies with the oven. <laughs> and by bun in the Who oven, we don't mean a fresh loaf inside of Clank. Oh God. You know what I'm saying? 
We got to talking after class and he's actually a totally sweet guy. Not only that, but he's really smart. He told me all kinds of stories about Colonel Sanders. He did? Was his stories kind of like, oh, Colonel Sanders is the best? Or was it something like, <laughs> That sounds like Donald Duck. That doesn't sound like Clank. Oh, well, I mean, he's a, he's a machine, not a duck. So I'm not sure why you'd make that comparison. Well, because <laughs> sounds like nothing, actually. I don't know what that sounds like. Okay. <laughs> Did you say? Did you know that Colonel Sanders was the most popular kid in his high school? Honestly, given his physique, I would have never guessed. No, but that does make complete sense. Yeah, given his physique. Naturally. Yeah, but ingenuity. he was so popular that he was voted prom king and queen at the school he didn't even go to, and it was the, it was also the convertible that he also that he rode himself in in the front of the homecoming parade. Wait, what? So he was voted king at a school he doesn't go to, and. He also rode said convertible to the homecoming of the place where he did not go to. I'm thinking maybe something got lost in pressure cooker language translation there. He's not a pressure cooker though, he's an oven. Don't make fun of Clank. Maybe he's also got built-in pressure cooking. Okay. Either way, maybe it'd be best if you took it slow with this new boy, like I am with Colonel Sanders. You and Colonel Sanders, the coolest guy in school that he's not in anymore. Wait camera's up there. This is. <laughs> the most famous student to ever attend University of Cooking School Academy for Learning, trademarked. <laughs> I forgot about that. <laughs> Trademark copyright 2019. You're a thing now? We, we definitely, like, connected yesterday. I was all like, yo, fork monster, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get you, and he was all like, <laughs> I'll finish sure it up. Sure you did. You're great. Why wouldn't he be into you, I guess? Right, because right? I'm popular too, like, right? right maybe. Laughing at the in Implication. Implication that you and Colonel Sanders might be a thing is definitely not cool. And you are great. Yeah. You are great. Cool. Now that I've scared away the audience. You. <laughs> you have an idea of how to prove that your love is real. Whoa, 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 whoa. It's been a day. Our love is real. Well, if he's not into me, why did he tell me one of his secret ingredients? Your bestie's eyes light up. <gasps> a secret ingredient. Correct. Yeah, I just said that. A secret ingredient. Is there a dramatic echo in here? In here? In here? In here? Miriam checks to make sure you're all alone before continuing. <laughs> nope. Doesn't seem to be anybody else here. Just me and my other half. <laughs> so this summer, while I was on vacation with my family, a lovely man approached me in the botanical garden where I was wandering. Why were you wandering alone in a botanical garden? This can't be good. No. He told me all about his passion for spices. Secret spices. And? The man even gave me some to show me what he meant. He said it was a powder created from super duper rare dried flower petals. And if I did a big favor, I could have some of my own. <gasps> Please, Miriam, don't tell me. So I filled my suitcase with them and brought them home! And how long have they been sitting around for? He was so nice. He even met me at the gate when I arrived. Later, when I cooked with them, a strange feeling came over me. And the fla flavor was unlike anything I've ever tasted. He gave me catnip. You ever hear with it? I think you're being very liberal with the meaning of spices here. Yo, it's straight up drugs. I honestly was thinking weed, so like, whatever. Anyhow, we both share an interest in cooking, so now we've stayed in touch, you know, like pen pals, and I bet he would love to know more about new spices. Yeah, he likes to be called my dealer for some reason. I'm not sure what his preference is, but I'm sure if he stays in the business long enough, he'll stick around long enough to become not just the dealer, but the distributor. Well, I'm definitely not supposed to share Colonel Sanders' secret recipe, and besides, I only know the one ingredient, so I doubt it'd be much use to anyone. Please, 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 please tell me your deepest, darkest secrets. Okay. Well, one of my deepest, darkest secrets are the 11 herbs and spices that I douse myself in nightly. It would mean the world to me. No one has known. No one has to know it came from you or from Colonel Sanders. Well, he's like the only person who would know it. So it's got to come from either him, the person who knows it, or you. The only other person who he's told it to, to our knowledge. See, my issue with this is it's either we lie to her or we give away someone else's secret. Well, we're... She's our best friend. Like... 
But you can't just go, you want him to love us. Think about it this way. Like, are we aware that KFC is like some global conglomerate in this, in this no, one? No, this is obviously Because, like, because no. I was going to think, it's only secret this to like this Colonel Sanders guy. This is like Colonel Sanders, like KFC total conglomerate. Oh, is this a, is this a canon prequel? No, I prequel? have no idea if this is a prequel, but okay. I'm assuming it is because Because not... I guarantee way back when outfits were not like this, especially not with the, like the little boob heart thing. On a Ashala. Actually... I think we should. I think we should just tell her. What's Colonel Sanders gonna do? Stick that cock staff up our, whatever. I think you would enjoy that too much for that to be a push. Well, we would enjoy it because we're the main character. Whoa, whoa, whoa! I never said this half of the we main character we. is not. Gonna okay, be so then that. we'd half enjoy it. We, as in us, as in me, okay, as in you, as in yeah, we'll do the telling the ingredients. I don't like it, but yeah. Okay, I'll tell you, but it has to stay secret. It's not staying secret. Miriam nods furiously. <laughs> I knew that was gonna happen. Furiously. He told me that he uses. Please stop telling me about. Never would have guessed that, would you? Her eyes light up, imagining such a thing, and you figured that you satisfied her curiosity, and she'll move on. And that comes from his. No! Really? I'm telling nobody. That's disgusting. However, Walks she immediately away. turns around and does some thumb typing on her phone that you can't quite see. That's probably not good. Clank? Clank. Before you can ask her to confirm that she was definitely not texting secrets to other people, you're interrupted. A wind rushes in. Cherry blossom petals fill the <gasps> air. Sakura tree! Colonel Sanders riding in on a white pony! He's arriving at school. He's the equivalent of Ryan Gosling doing the same. I don't know, should we run to him and look Stand desperate? back and admire gl his glory? Run to him. I, I guarantee, if we run to him, it's all of a sudden gonna be in slow motion. Do it! I feel like it's gotta be it. We it's gotta see. be that. You decide the best way to show Miriam how serious you and Colonel Sanders are is to run to him. Surely he'll sweep you up onto the back of his stallion and you're right away together. That'll show we're good. Oh, Colonel, my Colonel! <laughs> I did not like Sanders, that. my Sanders. <laughs> <laughs> However, your sudden movement surprised the horse and it rears up, kicking you directly in the face. Incredible. Smack. The force of the blow completely knocks you out cold. That's great. <laughs> in the darkness, you see a vision. Ooh, Cameron Queen, I'm here to deliver you a massage. Not this guy. It is important that you remember this exactly how I say it. If you forget, the world could end. So, you know, it's serious. Did you realize he, it looks like he's just wearing, like, one of those white blankets? Because you can see his eye holes and, like, the rest of it. Yeah, eyes. but his square eyes are total black. That means he's dead. He didn't just die. <laughs> yeah, for the purposes of this narrative, I actually got my scleras tattooed to look just black. I have been trapped in a realm beyond, but a great prophecy relies on my return. Only you can save me. All you need to do is repeat my name three times, which is ironic because I never told you my name. No, he said his name. He tried and to that answer. name is... And then you wake up. Before I can continue, you suddenly awake. Oh, look at that. Aw, oh, jeez. Why didn't you just tell me right then? You awake to find Colonel Sanders tending to you. He he aroused you back to life with a... S roused. 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 Oh! With a satchel. Ooh. With a satchel of secret spices. Or is that just his natural scented musk? Or perhaps it's one of those, like, uh, like, uh, um, what do you call them? Oh, it's, um, it's that thing where you snap it in front of somebody. You ever done one of those? I've done one of those a the couple of times. Glow sticks? No, 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 no. They're the little packets that you snap in front of somebody to wake them up. Smelling salts, yeah. right? Yeah, Smelling salts. I've yeah, I've that. taken two of those before. Frat life. Um, yeah. <laughs> Was that just this natural musk? We should go in for a kiss. I, no, I feel like that's too forward. Also, by the way, you'll <laughs> see it when I click forest. the button. But he's got a pen sleeve on his shoulder. Yeah, why? Which is interesting. I think we should compliment the craftsmanship of his horse's shoes. I think we should lean in for a kiss. 
Don't kiss me. I don't want you to kiss me. Yeah, TOS, dude. Get away from me. That's gross. Look at that pen. Look at look at that. <laughs> Maybe he he's got he's got a, a he's got a school. he's got a breast lapel, and he's got the pen. Like one's for the handkerchief, one's for the pen. You can't have both. Maybe he shouldn't be riding a horse to school, and maybe you shouldn't be running into, up to horses. You don't know. You know, they're strangers, too. It's hard to say who was in the wrong here. But one thing is for sure. Colonel Sanders is dreamy. As in, his horse and everything he touches sends me to a dreamscape and sometimes back, like his satchel of smelling salt or musk. That horse, his beautiful shoes. I could really feel how smooth and sturdy they were when they were, you know, pressing into my face and potentially cracking my skull, acting kind of like the equivalent of a meat tenderizer, but for my forehead. That's nice to hear. No one truly appreciates good craftsmanship anymore. That's nice to hear. Oh, shut up. I don't know his voice anymore, so we just go with that. He's the colonel. He has whatever And with the wants. Colonel Sanders... And with that, Colonel Sanders disappears into the school, leaving you and Miriam to follow. When you enter the classroom, you see your two rivals, Ashley and Bun Bun, are doing some bad bad. Something bad bad. <laughs> By the way, they're hiding, and you know it must be really bad. Like counterfeiting recipes, bad. Experimenting with restricted ingredients, bad. You know, wheat. Summoning, summoning a de demon, bad. Not just weed, like whatever the heck killed that student in the octopus. Oh yeah, the poison. Yeah. You should poison. try and get a peek over Van Ben's hulking shoulders. Da, da, but he sees you coming. Da, 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 da. Oh um. Whoa there, little one. I'm not sure you're ready to handle this. Why don't you make like a bee and mind your own wax, honey? Isn't it buzz along? Buzz along? Buzz, buzz off. That's buzz, it, buzz off. off. There you go. <laughs> Stop acting immature. Yeah, what are we there, parents? Act like you're not interested in them, but really try to get a closer look. Like, we're definitely curious. Well, yeah, but I would tell them to stop acting immature. <laughs> You're gonna be like, don't patronize us. That's the fun, yeah. <laughs> don't be so immature. You immediately dress the rivals down for their immature behavior. What is her eyes? What happened to her eyes? Oh my god. That's what she's evil. Culinary about. school is to be respected. This type of kind of nonsense is a waste of everyone's time. And now you've upset them. <laughs> oh, and you're the emperor of cooking, are you? You make the rules? I'm not sure you know a good meal if it ate you alive. Oh, I love if how it ate, if it th ate you. there were two words that were fully capitalized, <laughs> and you accented the one that wasn't right in between them. I respect it. I love it. I can't read, guys. It's okay. <laughs> Being the best chef in the world takes more than just culinary skills. It takes creativity. It takes panache. I've read pancakes. <laughs> it takes pancakes. And a really nice dark syrup. No. And it doesn't hurt to use a little evil. Every villain is lemons. Love muffin. <laughs> There's no M in evil. You finally get a look at what they've been hiding, and you instantly recognize it. It's oh, book, it's the Kakonomicon. Like, it's a book just like you found after your encounter with the sport monster. That's the same book that I found last night in the quad. Ashley immediately elbows Van Van, who hides the book behind his I'm, back. I'm Ashley, you're Van Van. Oh, sorry, I forgot. I don't know what you're talking about. This book is a family heirloom and its contents are secret. Did they summon the monster to eat us or something? It's, it's the Kakonomicon. You've noticed that they haven't just been studying the book. They've got popped, pinned to the wall, and they're tossing potato skins at him as he tries to catch them in his mouth. <laughs> Poor kid! Oh my god! <laughs> We're playing! <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Ow! This poor kid. Before you can dig any further, you're interrupted by the arrival of more students. It's almost time for class. <laughs> Clank must be running late. Late. He's in such a hurry that he rolls oh over Van Van's meaty foot. I just noticed he's not yet. Yeah, he's part oven. Looks like part freezer, and he's got uh, indeed. It looks like a pressure cooker on top with a with a with a um. What are those spinny valves? That bottom part could be part oven. It could be part oven. Maybe I don't know. <laughs> hey, watch it, you bucket of bolts. He's he's precipitating out of his eye holes, which is a dial, and a another dial. 
Yeah. How is you watch how you talk to him. He didn't do anything. He can't help his metal stature. His drawer just bent to show his eyebrows. Yeah, those are his eyebrows. He's got a unibrow. Can you not tell? Who do you think you're talking to? I've never heard such language. Not even from a stand mixer. <laughs> no, your mother was a stand mixer. <laughs> it was a your mom joke. Van Van jumps to attack Clank, but Clank shocks Van Van, sending him flying across the room. <laughs> That's 400 volts for you, fucker. Protect me, Colonel Sanders. These crazed men are about to come to blows. I think it must be over me, but I'm not interested in either of them. Ah! Ashley's tone has completely changed in an instant. She bats her eyelashes at Colonel Sanders. Surely he must know that this is a ruse, right? I forgot his voice again. Gentlemen! Oh god, that's a woman. He's still batting my eyelashes. Oh my god, stop batting your eyelashes. I have to refigure out what he is. Gentlemen, get a hold of yourselves. Save it for the area at least. Or don't. Or don't. He just Honestly, turned British. Yeah, he did. Honestly, what do I care? I've got a lofty career, aspirations to focus on. Maybe I can help you with your business plan. I really don't like how she stands there because her ass looks huge. My ass grew twice the size that day. Just then, Sparkles arrives to signal the true start of the class day. He's panting, which doesn't seem that abnormal. He's a professor, but he's also a dog. <gasps> students, students, please take your seats. I apologize for my late arrival. I spent the morning chasing a car all around the town and my tiny legs are very, very tired. But I'm here now, and I hope you're ready to learn! Cha! Broke his furry dog belly. He loves it. Does he? Sprinkle stops in his tracks and sniffs the air around you. Something has him in a trance. Do I smoke cocaine? It's the scent left on you from the Colonel Sanders. Oh, or is that musk? Sprinkles jumps on you and licks your face. <laughs> Down, boy! Off top. Down! Off, off hoppen. Off hoppen. Off hoppen. I think it's German. Off hoppen. I think he's German. Oh, I just gave him a British accent, though. That's close enough. <laughs> that command, shouted by Colonel Sanders, has stopped. Has, oh, has snapped Sprinkles out of his trance. Oh, what kind of? I wonder what's up with that. What kind of dog is Sprinkles? Maybe he's like he's a German a corgi. corgi. I, I don't know if he's a corgi. Maybe he's a German he's a corgi. corgi. Are he's corgis definitely... German? I don't think mm. corgi is a German. Sorry, I got a little carried away. After he catches his breath, Sprinkles regains control of the classroom. Without further ado, we'll review the global history of my favorite fowl, the chicken. You want to pay attention to the lesson. Truly you do! Which is why in 1776, at the signing of the Declaration of Independence, it was a chicken who first signed their name. But you can't help but daydream about Colonel Sanders, and you miss most of the important parts. When you come to, Sprinkles is holding a tray of food in front of you. Peanuts? Well, Cameron Queen? Naturally, this appears to you to be a sampler platter. Which item should you sample? Glass of water, shimmering pepper, dog biscuit. I'm concerned by that. Shimmering pepper as in what? It's gonna burn my taste buds? I feel like that's the best option. Should we just, should we just go cool? We're cool, we're calm collected, we should get the water. I don't know, I feel like that doesn't taste like anything though, so why would you pick it? Maybe it's got Tabasco sauce in it or something. The glass of water? That's what I used to do, to freak the hell out of people. Yeah, you put a little Tabasco in the water and across the table, like, you want some water? Like, oh yeah, sure I do, and you're like... <coughs> oh my god. It's terrible. Know. I'm opting for the water. Fine. Because we're cool, we're calm, collected. I don't think that's exactly what that would work with. You grab the glass of water and gulp it down. It's cool, cool, and crisp. I told you! Like the purest snow melted by a mountain spring. I told you! Hey, that was mine! It was from my favorite toilet! You owe me six dollars! Why was it on the plate? And you've got excellent taste. 
You think to yourself, geez, I should pay better attention. We all make mistakes. I'm sure he'll forgive you someday. Come on, it's time for lunch! Before anyone can relax, the cafeteria's light, lights dim. And your rivals enter to make a dramatic announcement. Today's lunch will be prepared! Colonel Sanders comes in. We are tar competitive, times competitive cook-off. The level of threat, theatrics with these two is off the charts. Dun, dun, da, da, na, na, Step na, up na, and tell them they're on. You're on, pal. A bit of lunchtime competition, eh? Count me in. If I have to whip, wipe the tables with you fools before I set my lunch down, then so be it. I'm not the fool. You're the fool. Fool? I'm the fool. You're the fool. We're all fools. I forgot Go how ahead. to do a Go ahead. British, British accent. German, American. <laughs> I don't even know how to do a German accent. Good one, Van Van. Oh my god. I want Southern. <laughs> I mean, just, it's Kentucky Fried Chicken. It's just going to so be everyone. I, can, I, can... I like your gumption. <laughs> <laughs> I like your gumption. I like your gumption. I've been watching your performance. Yeah, I feel like this is good. I'll just stick with that one, hopefully. I think it's good. It's good. It feels right. Just as things reach a boiling point, Sparkle steps in. Sure, he'll put a sprinkle. Say his name. Sparkle. Say his name. Sprinkles. Sprinkles. Surely he'll put a stop to this madness. Now, now, students, please settle down. This is a lunchroom, not a sporting court. Finally, a little sense. You breathe a sigh of relief. <sighs> At least not until we turn on the timer. Just then, a huge light blasts in your face, flashing the word timer ready. Bam! That's what I'm talking about. Arrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrr
Now you can think of his Colonel Sanders. And the horse that kicked me in the face. Oh god, what spoonfuls of gravy that face! What were you thinking? Get your mind back into the competition. I had to click something. Grrr. You're standing on a desert island with only one cook des dessert, dessert cookbook. Which would you take? What a hunk. Oh my god. Oh yeah. What a hunk. I know, right? You know what? Shouldn't you be focused on the challenge? You're falling behind. Falling? I forgot the question! Ah! Oh, we're walking on the beach! <laughs> oh, I forgot to read that out loud. Woof, woof. You're really struggling to keep up. <laughs> At the next station over, Ashley has already begun plating elements of her dish. It's colorful and complex. To make up time, you toss your, butt, your biscuit dough into standard mixers <laughs> as you do the crowd gas. The crowd? Ew! Yikes! Uh-oh. I know you love nothing more than seeing a fellow appliance utilized in the kitchen battle, but sometimes that means sacrificing the personal touch. You might not have any hands, but Cameron Queen does, and a good chef needs to be touching the dough to know when it's properly mixed. Uh-oh. There's an easy way and a hard way. You don't get far by going the easy way. No respect. When you heard everyone talking, you realized how serious your error was. You immediately shove your hands into the mixer to rescue your dough before it gets And then I hurt myself. Cameron Queen, no! My hands are mangled mess! You're not fast enough and your hand gets stuck and it's immediately crushed by the quickly spinning beat beaters. There's no way you'll be able to use that hand for the rest of the match. How can I make perfect drumsticks with only one hand? Colonel Sanders shakes his head in shame. What you often find is the easy way can turn out much, much more difficult. Everyone stop what you're doing right now. This battle is over. It can't be. I was so close to finishing my dish. Sweetheart, look at your hand. You simply can't go on. Oh, that's too bad. And here I am with a completed dish ready to serve. Surely that makes me the winner by default. No, no, it wouldn't be fair to compare the two on an account of Cameron Queen's injury. You see Sprinkles begin to lick his doggy chops as he locks onto the dish. But I suppose uh, you should at least tell us what you prepared. Well, because I'm the sweetest, I skipped straight to dessert. Under this white chocolate dome, you'll find a wide array of delights, taking you on a journey of flavor that tastes good and tells a story of... Excellence. Where did you get a, like, heart-shaped glass platter? It's, like, cracked around the edges, too. It's interesting. I was going to ask Cameron Queen to do the honor, but since you're injured, I'm afraid that pouring this creamer of delicate hot chocolate sauce might be too difficult. Colonel Sanders, if you wouldn't mind lending me your strong and steady hand... Colonel Sanders pours the hot chocolate sauce on top of the dome, causing it to melt away, revealing the ingredient hidden within. Inside, you'll find a delicate fried cheese croquette atop a slice of honeycomb, ice cream two ways, tender nougat, and pearls of blueberry galay. How the heck did she do that? What the hell? How did you do that in, what, five minutes? Colonel Sanders seems intrigued, but, pro but perhaps not impressed as he dips his finger into the chocolate sauce. <laughs> Simply isn't your strong suit, is it, Ashley? <gasps> oh, you! <laughs> so he places a sauce-covered finger into his lip. Ashley leans over and whispers something into his ear. A dab of sauce sticks to his mustache. Uh, I don't see a dab of sauce anywhere. Hmm? <laughs> Internalize the rage. We know no, we know about internalizing, so I think we have to we have to do. Let's see. Do we either internalize, or do we become confrontational? Does he like people stepping in for his battles? I forget. Colonel Sanders? Yeah. Sure. Okay, I guess. Let's go rescue him. Let's do it. You reach out with your ace apron to wipe the sauce off his glistening face. Colonel Sanders recoils and brushes you back. This goatee isn't a fashion statement. It's also functional. It was saving that flavor for later. Oh my god. Get <laughs> that was it. Wow. <laughs> Try again. Oh, do we have to do this whole competition thing again? Oh, God. Oh, my God. Oh, that's an uncomfortable line between the biscuits and the uh, drumsticks. What do you mean? Oh, oh. We, we got another chance! Anyway, Preston. we should... Step it up and tell them. Yeah, we gotta tell them. They're on. 
Wait, wait, don't click too, don't click too fast. I got this one. Stay corrected. Something, something. Blah, like a diamond. Under pressure. Lafitte. Blah. Potatoes. Yes. Oh, 100 degrees Celsius. Yes. Oh, my God. Furry belly. Yes. Oh, 11 nerves and spices. Oh, yes. Sprinkles. Intensifies. What do we do? Uh, I think it was gratitude. I don't know. Yeah, but that's not... That's right. Oh. Yes. Oh, my God. Classmates are rooting. Ashley. Blah. Something about a small town where I was born. Oh, yeah. That's it. A roo. I feel like this is cheating. Silence, Silence. is the one. Oh, yes. Colonel Sanders. Ah! cheering me on yes i'm thinking colonel sanders yes face blowing me winking oh geez what was i thinking grr oh geez honk on my own right yes look at him <gasps> wedding vows in the gondola yes oh my god woof 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 putting my hand in the mixer <gasps> yikes oh no i've made a grave mistakes i'm gonna put my hand in the <gasps> crackle crackle oh geez i'm done and then oh my god his face did you see his face no Oh my god, you didn't see that? Sprinkles' face was just removed from his body. What? Because he was clicking too hard. Oh my god. Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! I love it. Sprinkles? Are, are you okay? Does that show up on cat? Yeah, it does. Oh my god. Are you okay, Sprinkles? Internalize. The Internalize. Oh, you gotta, you gotta read that one. Oh, oh my god. The flames cause your eyebrows to catch on fire and turn to ash oh and god. they fall off of your face, which means people will have a hard time understanding your emotions Sprinkles? for the rest of the semester. Are you okay, buddy? <laughs> Perhaps forever. This is a bit of an out-of-body experience for me. <laughs> Embarrassed and ashamed by your poor performance, not to mention your crispy you, fried brow. You, you run for the quad. the name alone. of Colonel Sanders. No, it's gotten. Oh, his face is gone. The beautiful now. weather feels like an insult inside of you. A storm rages. Urgh, I should probably tell you to here to tell you that he and Ashley are in love and decided to get no, married and have no, a thousand kids no, and no. move into Philly together. They're gonna move into the town that I grew up in and tell my parents all about how much they love each other and, and he not won't me. even ask to cater and he won't even ask you to cater his wedding because you're a terrible chef and an awful person. I suffer from lack of, lack of confidence. And you try to hide from him but he approaches you directly. He slaps me in the face and says you're no good. I know you're hurting right now. If not just from the devastating loss, but from that run-in with the mixer and the small fire. We should get that checked out. Oh yeah, my hand and the fact that three of my fingers are now missing. <laughs> I'm fine, but can you just leave me alone? Like, I'm a loser. <laughs> I've been to fill your fryer and I'll never be a master chef. Failure is part of life. Not just for you, but for all of us. Do you think you'll ever fail at if... Do you think I've never failed at anything before? No, you're perfect. <laughs> That's exactly what I think. Well then, think again! I wasn't always the man you see before you enrolled in a culinary school. Incredibly handsome, successful, motivated. Well, handsome, sure. I was born that way. Naturally, these muscles grew them by themselves. But I've walked other paths and arrived at dead ends. I was passionate about life, but I failed as an obstetrician. Somehow, this feels like... What, what? Obstetrician. Interesting. I was passionate about justice, but I failed as a lawyer. I was passionate about lives. Oh God, a livestock, but I failed as a mule handler. You went that from one was you went from law to <laughs> mule handling. That one was especially humiliating. Mules can be so cruel. Kind of like your horse. I didn't know. People see my delicate ribbon tie and well kept beard and assume I've got it all together, which is true now, but yeah, it wait, wait, hasn't always button. been. Oh. Just a button. Oh. Sounds like this guy could really use a hug. <laughs> I, I resolved go. that I was going to amount to something no matter how, no matter, no amount of hours, labor, or money no, could no, deter no, me from none. giving the best I could give. As Colonel Sanders changed his focus, you see something ignite in him a burning passion. One has to remember that every failure can be a stepping stone to something better. My dream is pure, it's honest, it's something that a humble and man. A crisp white suit can be proud of. I will create a new chain of chicken restaurants that will bring joy to the entire world and make up for my misdeeds. It is a prequel. Yay! 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 yay. I'm pop. Hi. Just as your moment grows intimate, you're interrupted by a threatening shadowy presence. <laughs> Battle scared from the night before, you prepare for the worst. It's the Smork Monster! Borco? Did we name him Borco? Did I name him Borco? I don't know what we named him. It is I! I know I said I wouldn't be back, and after the whole fight to the death thing, maybe you don't really want to see me anymore, but 
I just wanted to say that I was wrong to attack you. I apologize. I know what it's like having to always look over your shoulder. <laughs> Monster problems. Am I right? Aw, oh, thanks, Borko. I'm, I'm glad there are no hard feelings. Getting jumped by a giant creature in the dark of night can really rile a person up. I also want to apologize for the way I switched, like, right into attack mode. I know you're strong, and cooking school can put a person under a lot of stress. I actually used to go to this school. I wasn't always a spork monster, you see. I don't believe it. You were human once? Well, no, I was a golden retriever, but I was still a student. Till one day, some mean kids with a magic spellbook cast a dark enchantment on me. I was forever transformed. A magic spellbook? Okay, okay, we have just gone from like, oh, this could be a dating sim to like, what the hell is going on here? I feel like this is a full feature length RPG. Precisely. I had been sure to copy for myself, but somewhere along the way I've lost it. If you find such a book, I beg of you, respect it. Respect the book. Respect it. You're a powerful chef and really shouldn't rely on such dark and evil magic. No, you shouldn't be protecting the innocent from those who could who would cheat them through sorcery and guile. If you need me, don't fear. I will be there. That's the most intimate I've ever been right with a here. monster. It sounds like there's some bad cooks in the kitchen of life, Cameron Queen. Could Together, I am life. sure we can defeat him. Come back to my hideaway and we can discuss. We're going to his hideaway! Oh my god, we're gonna do a it! Personal invitation! You can't imagine what the Colonel Sanders home must be like, but it must sound like you're about to find out! <laughs> oh, that's terrifying. Why does he have a beard as a child and is bald? <laughs> Stepping inside Kurt into inside wow, Sanders he, he home. He really thinned out since Kentucky. Surrounded by all, all his things, you start to feel a special bond with him. Looks like you live such an exciting life, Colonel Sanders. Every day can be an adventure if you approach it with the right attitude. Long ago, I made the decision to never stop searching, never stop working, never stop imagining, never stop <clears throat> talking. Have you ever been working on any new restaurants of your own re uh, recipes of your own lately i'm always excited to talk about food with another <clears throat> ambitious chef you know because i have no other words well there is something it's just a side dish that i've been tinkering with trying to find the right balance of flavors and textures i'm not not sure if i've nailed it yet but i'm close colonel sanders eyes perk up as he starts to wonder what dish you might be describing it's meant to pair with something spicy or something crispy both, perhaps. Now you've got him right where you want him. Should you, you gotta, reveal gotta, your new creation to him? We, we've been pretty loose-lipped this whole time. I think we yeah, gotta. You, you gotta reveal it. Gotta tell him. Gotta tell him. You decide you can't you're just, ready. As you can't just keep him like that. As you'll ever be to share your original cooking with Colonel Sanders. Before you can talk yourself out of it, you decide to dive headfirst. You reach so... into your lunch bag for a special dish you've been keeping on ice all day. It's peanuts. I present to you. My original coleslaw with peanuts. The shredded cabbage gliss dish glistens in the coal in the light of of Colonel Sanders. Luke's hideaway. <gasps> Magnificent! It's the most magnificent jar of peanuts I've ever Together, seen. Together, you chow down on the creamy saw just until you get. Ch until just a spoonful remains in the bowl. Oh. Do you mind if I hold on to the last bit? I'd like to have it around so I can admire its taste later. Think back to this moment. He's gonna steal our recipe. You could offer to make him some more, but he seems like a very sentimental kind of guy. What if they paint him as this asshole who steals recipes? <laughs> sure. Why not? Please make yourself comfortable. I'll be back in a moment. Start stripping off all of my clothes. Oh, you said comfort. I completely misread the situation. You realize that now would be the perfect time to do some sno snooping. Around the room were various items that you can look at closer. Each item seems to radiate memories and emotions. Tap on tap. I'm gonna look at the cock to discover about Colonel Sanders. You notice a very realistic stuffed chicken sitting on the corner table. When you pick it up, you realize it isn't just realistic. It's real. Tax oh. Taxidermy? 
Must have been important to Colonel Sanders when it was alive. Oh. A little note clipped to the chicken's foot read the true state bird of the great state of Kentucky. Tap on more items to the discover cock. more. You little candle just for us. A scented candle. You pick it up and try to identify the sound. No. Power tool? Freshly shard collar? Mm. Piece of wood floating in a lake. Mm. Summer of... 69! No, it's one of the secret recipe ingredients. It's... Redacted! Tap on an item to discover more what about the kernel. on the table? Oh. A lock of oh. silver hair is woven through the teeth of the comb. Almost like it was put there by God himself. Upon further inspection, you realize that the hair there isn't just silvery in color. It's actually made of spun silver. What? Oh, it's not actually hair. It's just a token. Don't go outside yet. <laughs> I wonder if that's painted that way. You gaze outside the window across the lake vast, the vast lake and mountain range beyond. Just then the ghost of the student pops up. Oh god. Are you thinking about heading on into the world on a quest to avenge my death? You don't deserve that. Wait, what? I, I never even learned your name. Why would I avenge you? I could just tell you my name right now. It's... Can't you see I'm in the middle of something? You open the window and crack a uh, crack, and the ghost of the student is swept out with a breeze. Oh no! This vase. Taking a Quick. closer look at this large urn, it's an sitting urn. On a nearby pedestal. with the real Colonel Sanders inside. There's a plaque on it. It's dusty, but when you wipe it off, you read the inscription. It says, "Here lies the ashes of all my past careers and business failures, <laughs> including the mule handling." Poor guy. Tap on an item to discover more about the Colonel. This must be where he keeps his secret recipe. Oh. You think for a moment what number is important to Colonel Sanders. Then it dawns on you. As soon as you turn the dial to 11, 11, 11, the safe opens. Inside it, you find a single note. Can chicken be prepared sashimi style? Hmm. Tap on an item to discover more about the Colonel. I'm going to go backwards here. One of the frame sh photos shows an old man who looks a bit like Colonel Sanders standing with a friend. They hold fried chicken drumsticks and appear to be cheersing themselves. They're not... No, they are They're not, not holding fried chicken drumsticks. No, they're not. What are you talking what, about? They, no. Mm -mm. I guess they never they're changed not, the inscription. They're not cheersing it. Maybe, maybe they didn't change the picture. You look closely and see there's a short inscription. Please describe. I wonder who my friend Pete is. <gasps> Pete Sanders! The photo appears to be Colonel Sanders, except he's an old man visiting the pyramids of Yo, Egypt. Yo, what if Colonel Sanders is actually the main character of an isekai that takes place in this universe, and he all of a sudden jumps in and he's 17 again? Maybe this was where he discovered one of his secret herbs and spices. Why is he that old, though? <coughs> an adorable little baby boy cradles across the floor. Interesting. From the goatee and the mustache comb he sports, you figure this must be Colonel Sanders himself. Or... That, or maybe it's the drumstick that he seems to be waving yeah, like yeah, around. Yeah, I can't wait to put this whole thing in my mouth. Who frames a baby picture of just themselves? Perhaps it's the same type of person who would make their own face the logo of a company that they founded. Am I right? <laughs> Am I right? I think that's it. There are no more secret items. Tap on an item to discover more about the colonel. I went to tap on an item to find more about the colonel. Door. <gasps> you open the door to Colonel Sanders' <gasps> closet and find a row of his signature white suits hanging within. You take one off the hanger and try it on. The jacket is a oh. bit big for you, but it's soft and comfortable. That's so you give warm. yourself a deep hug, breathing yeah. in his scent. They say that home is where the heart is. Is this what they meant? I'm so warm inside. Before you can fuzzy. look any further, you hear the Colonel Sanders returning. He has a new dish that he's been working on, and he wants you to taste it. You should try to act casual until he asks you why you're wearing his jacket. Aww. I usually don't loan those out, but I must say it does look good on you. Be even better if you took it off. Oh crud, the jacket. Oh. You forgot to take it off. <laughs> the cold. That's I feel it. like we'd be cold. Uh, we're, we're cold, right? I don't know. Or maybe do we tell him, yeah, I was looking at all of your Fess up and tell the belongings. Truth. Yeah. Tell him the truth. Honesty. Honesty is the best policy. You confess. I think I've developed feelings for you. Aww. Oh. 
I, I thought we were gonna tell about the. the <laughs> That's anyway. what I thought. <laughs> anyway. I might be developing feelings for you too, but I'm concerned. I can't let anything get in the way of my dreams. Overwhelmed, <laughs> you take off the jacket and run to the door. I can't deal with this anymore. But the thought of leaving Colonel in the midst of such an emotional breakthrough gives you a pause. You stop yourself. <laughs> Colonel. Yes, Cameron Queen. I honestly think this may be the beginning of something wonderful. I think you're right. We should take things slow. You talk late into the night and drift off into a slumber. Meanwhile, what I was thinking about was absolute sexy times, but he was thinking about a business partnership. Dream sequence. Z -z 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 you awake to a beautiful morning in the Colonel Sanders hideaway. Wait, we slept here overnight? Yes. Did you make the right decision on how to respond to Colonel Sanders? Only time will tell the truth. Today is a day that could change the rest of your life. You think about the new secret ingredient you must you just learned about. Blank. <laughs> In some jurisdictions, it is even legal. Oh my god, it's weed. If the recipe is secret, how would they, s how would they, how know? they know? Yeah. Your thoughts are interrupted when Colonel Sanders emerges into the room. He's holding a gorgeously plated breakfast. Of just peanuts. Washes. Water is at the sight of it. Here's a simple breakfast I just whipped up. It's meticulous. You and taste Colonel like Sanders' food face. and takes you on a journey. Then you return. He's waiting to ask you an important question. Will you marry me? So would you say we're the perfect match? Oh. How presumptuous. Oh, jeez. That cuisine <laughs> and your taste buds. That, that wasn't is. at all where I thought that was going. <laughs> such confidence. Such grace. Should the, Could he be the world's greatest gift to cookery? Take him down a peg? No. Flatter, flatter him. him. You gotta flatter him. Butter him Pump up. this man up. You know, I think we might make a great team. A single tear begins to pool in the corner of his eyes. There's the single tear. The window. There it is. Ding, ding, ding. I'm with the right business partner. I know I can't fail. Business partner? Could he be talking to you? It's uh, all happening so quickly. I knew it. Overcome with emotion and confused by your feelings, you're on the verge of tears. Unable to speak, the only answer you can find is to run out the door and get home. <laughs> There's still one more day of school after all. The University of Cooking. The University of Cooking School Academy for Learning, trademark. Copyright 2019. Waits for no one. You get home to find some ve something very surprising. Your best friend is there waiting for you. I slept in your bed. <laughs> it's not like I like you or anything. Where have you been? Um, I was on going to Colonel Sanders. Because Sanity. I had a heck of a night. Yo, Clang and I totally fucked in your bed. It was insane. Your mom came upstairs being like, Why does it sound like you're playing with my pots and pans? And then she was like, Oh God, you're, you're naked and... You are, are you naked? Just, you're shiny as, your, your buns are made of steel. I've been desperate to talk to you about it, but I couldn't find you. I got worried that something happened to you. It's, it's okay, I was just. But now it turns out that you're fine, so I can finally get you up to speed on the saga of Miriam. Sure, but, uh. You will not believe what happened to me after school yesterday. I went on a date. With who, I guess. I think I can believe that. Since I've been partnered up with Clank, he asked me to go out with him. Oh, no Of kidding. course, I told him you better keep your dials turned to polite and respectful, but I'm not that kind of girl. But he was just interested in spending one-on-one -on -one time together and getting to know me. So I said, yeah, sure, I can get to know the little metallic guy. Metallic? Me metallic guy. Mm -hmm. Long story short, he took me skydiving with his friends, but things turned quickly spiraled out of control quite literally i could I, I yeah did she say skydiving as if that's a typical first date to go on with a talking pressure cooker <laughs> and now i'm not <laughs> really sure where we stand <laughs> skydiving with friends and stuff like that <laughs> you don't give me really time tell. to tell her whole story however bottling up the details of your own night is too much to bear <laughs> and i went on a date too back to colonel sanders's house and where i spent the night with him you what? Hell yeah, I did. Nothing happened, but the emotional connection... Wowzers. And by emotionally, I mean physically. Mm. Miriam tells tells you to move on from this whole Colonel Sanders obsession as book is on... Oh, okay. The illusion of choice. <clears throat> Maybe it's like because of our past actions, that's the only choice we have at this moment. Yeah. If being obsessed with Colonel Sanders is wrong, you don't, you don't want to be right. <laughs> After a short order argument, you both agree to go your separate ways. When you arrive at school, you encounter your rivals in the quad. You can tell from a distance they're picking on Pop, although he himself might not quite grasp that fact. <laughs> because you know, he's, he's Pop. Pop. 
Watch the swirly! <laughs> Sounds really delicious. Oh, it's great. I'll order you up one right away. What a guy. I have my swirly with sprinkles. Not like the teacher, of course. I don't want to munch on that dog. Please, just sprinkles is a dog and a tree. <laughs> you can get your swirly dipped, too. Why don't you pick on someone your own size? Because I'm literally the biggest person in the school. There is that horse that Colonel Sanders rides to school, but who would dare pick on such a gentle and beautiful creature? They've got some nerve, Cameron Queen, suggesting I pick on a defenseless horse. Fucking kicked me in the face. Now you're twisting my words, and I won't have it. You, you clench your fist, but the injury from yesterday's mixer accident makes you ah! lose your pain. Doesn't look like you can go on cooking like that. Might as well just give up. Yeah, I think I will. I'll never give up. Ever. Yo, welcome to the party. I love hairy muffins. <laughs> hairy muffins? Mm. I love hairy muffins. Nice, nice. Okay. Kind of like Colonel Sanders. Colonel big Sanders old arrives hairy just muffin of hunk. I was too busy fawning over Colonel Sanders for you to finish that line. Just Speaking of which, appears... wait a minute, I just remembered. Oh, do I have to put on a hat too? Do you want to put on a hat too? You want to put on the tiara? I get the tiara. Oh, okay. it's covered in strings. Here, to commemorate our newest follow, we'll put on a party hat and it's stuck. Oh, there we go. <laughs> yeah, dude. There you go. There's my party hat. Because it's party time. <laughs> God, See, that's, that's the joke. Colonel Sanders arrives just as it appears things are close to boiling over. A natural, intuitive person, bubbling he senses over. that something has been going on. Bubbling over. Is everyone excited for their final day of school? Camera Queen, how's that hand feeling? I'm sure you'll be back to fighting for <laughs> this afternoon. I'm in pain. Aren't you concerned about my hands, Colonel? Yesterday, I almost broke a nail, winning so hard, and it almost ended up in the dish, which you so centrally put in your mouth. Technically, I don't believe a winner has decided, but your presentation was quite impressive. <laughs> Thank you, Colonel Sanders. No. What is he doing complimenting her? Why are you complimenting him? That skank! But what about the flavor of my delicate, warm, gooey chocolate sauce? The chocolate sauce, I mean. It was clear that you were passionate about how your food is received. But. That's a lot of words to say it was bland. Excuse me, Cameron Queen. I'm more than capable enough to speak for myself. It was bland. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Maybe you could tell me more of your thoughts as we walk into class, Colonel. I'm having <laughs> issues here. I, I took my headphones off, put it on, and then put my headphones back on. But I don't want to do that. I'm always interested in the discussion of the fine arts of fine food. What if I just do it like that? Let's. Nice. See I... you inside, Cameron Queen. What? Nice. Does it work? Hey, you know what? I'm, I'm digging it. I'm digging it. Yeah. Looks cute on you. Annoyed by Colonel Sanders' inability to see Ashley for who you know she really is, you walk across the quad Sorry, to get I don't some know what she does with her free time. In an attempt to distract you from yourself from how slightly, how slighted you feel by that interaction with Ashley, you take out the spell book you recovered yesterday and start flipping through the pages. Wait. Wait, we got the spell book? Whoa, that that <laughs> book, it looks like we, bad We got news. the Kakanomicon? <laughs> It's just something I found laying around, like, it would appear to be some sort of grimoire, but I don't really believe in that magic stuff. But I know what a grimoire is, so there's a that. A grimoire? So like a book of will. spells? I don't know! Who would spend so much time decorating a magic book if it weren't really powerful? Yeah, right? With that giant cock coming out of it. I can think of one surefire way to find out. It's a chicken, by the way. I mean chicken. It's not an actual phallic device. You open to a page covered with an arcanic warning. Cast only in case of extreme emergency. It wow, says around very, the edges of this page. That was a very nonchalantly stated emergency. I could use the spell here that says it will will erase anyone I choose from all of my memories. If I could scrub out Colonel Sanders, it would probably help me focus better on the upcoming vinyl exam. But, you know, I just shared with him my innermost secrets last night, and I love it, but I need to forget that it. That is way too dramatic. Couldn't you do something else like anything else? Not yeah. rooted in dark magic, maybe... Tie Way. a string around your finger or something? Way too dramatic. Okay, fine. It is dramatic, but desperate times call for desperate me measures. We should just forget about this love story. You've got a memorize a memory space ex You've got a memory ex erasing spell sitting right in front of you and a pretty good excuse to try it out. Shall Why we cast the forbidden spell, dear? 
This is literally a novel. It's a romance novel, I understand, but it's it fits perfectly. It's not a romance novel it's because not. it's about a little girl and a Holly a woman. and Ivy. Well, I, I certainly hope... Little... Anyway, whatever. PG. Don't do it! We, we, we must... No, you can't yeah! do it! Take your friend's advice No, the just kidding. I was thinking to throw that behind us, not... Oh, there goes the whole punch. Wow, everything's falling apart over here. It's almost time for class. <laughs> stop for class. Oh, stop for class. Oh, Sprinkles is already in the room waiting for students to arrive. He clears his voice to make a quick announcement. <laughs> I want you all to know, I feel something of a dog moment coming on, but I assure you, it's nothing to be afraid of. <laughs> <laughs> Starts barking at His cute down. little nose scrunches up and he begins to breathe quickly. <laughs> he must be hungry. Reach for some old homework to give him I think we should just- I, I really think we should see what happens. He's about to have a dog moment. Maybe he's gonna, like, rub his ass across the floor. <laughs> so, I don't know. What do you want to do? I, I love his predict unpredictability. Okay, fine. Go with that. Sprinkles stops into his tracks. He focuses on the window. There's a squirrel outside. The room is deadly silent. Then you follow his gaze. <sighs> his gaze, you see a tiny orange squirrel perched on the cherry tree outside. Sprinkles turns <laughs> feral and runs towards the window. <laughs> <laughs> he begins barking uncontrollably at the squirrel outside. Squirrel! Oh, there we go. <laughs> squirrel! <laughs> I gotta stop moving. Terrence, I told you to never come back here, Terrence. I will destroy you, Terrence. Come back here. <laughs> it again. It's barking furiously, <laughs> drooling half of his face off. <laughs> the squirrel looks over, but he doesn't say anything. You keep, wonder keep, keep, what... Keep. Is that even a talking squirrel? Who named him Terrence? You'd better not show your chubby cheeks around here ever again. After Sprinkles is satisfied with his presence, he's been felt by not only Terrence, but any other squirrel in hearing distance, he returns to his professional tone. I apologize for the outburst. This actually brings up an important point. Thank you, Cameron Queen, for reminding me to dole out this indispensable bit of wisdom. You see... But before he can go any further, Miriam's love drama spills over into the class. That's disgusting. <laughs> Sprinkles is interrupted by whirs and sparks coming out of Oh! Oh, you're kidding me! Oh. I told you to say it, save it for after class. What a... <laughs> That translate on You think I wanted to be thrown pants. from a plane strapped to a stranger? Uh, I totally would. Oh, they're arguing about the skydiving. Miriam and Clank appear to be bad. arguing, but you still haven't learned to speak Clank's language of mechanical noises. <laughs> But no, you had to show off to your cool kid friend, Jeff and jo Jonah. Jonah. J and J forever. <laughs> Watch us form a triangle in midair as we descend. Triangles are the strongest shape, don't you know? Triangles are my favorite shape. Three, Three points, points where two, two lines meet. Toe to toe, toe back to back, back, that's all my love. Let's test the lead. Says Clank. Sorry, I had a vibe moment there. But just, just go on Netflix to understand. It's okay. Watch Ingress, the anime animated series. No, not the no, game. No, just, just watch the um, just watch. Or the just listen opening. to Tessellate by Alt J. Yes. Yeah. Well, that doesn't make a great date. It doesn't. Then take Jeff and Joan with you. You can hold hands all you pedal as all you pedal down the mountain or a cliff for all I care. Oh my god. <clears throat> Clink begins to shudder. <laughs> Steam ding. pours out of the gaps of his panels, and then a loud ding stops him in his track. We can <laughs> No amount of ceasing is gonna make me ever want to eat that again, Clank. I'm I'm sorry. Clank burps I'm, I'm sorry, hold on, hold on a second. Cried. She said ever eat that again. Yes. Miriam ate Clank. Or, or she, something that came out of Clank. She ate a deep fried oh. sneaker. Considered that he himself has wheels, not feet. It's not clearly, entirely clear where, <laughs> where it came, came from. from. <laughs> In terms of deep fried footwear, I guess it looks okay. Clank slowly rolls out of the room to be alone with his shoe. Everyone <laughs> tries to pretend they didn't see the entire thing go down. Nothing. Is this the equivalent of him, like, shitting himself in class? Like, <laughs> except everyone can see it, and instead of smelling like, you know, it shit, it smells like, mm, a fried leather shoe. Nothing like a loud public breakup to cast a pall. 
a pall over the final day of school. Yeah, pall, a pall. Well, that was unfortunate. But we mustn't be distracted by what lies ahead. The final competition showdown challenge exam! I'm still working on the title, but I think you get it. Test time approaches. See you all in the arena! But before you can think about your upcoming competition, there's a very beautiful soul nearby in need of a pep talk. <sighs> hey, Miriam, you okay? Okay, I'm so mad I could smash a tiny mug spilling several droplets of hot cocoa all over the floor. How could he embarrass me in class like that in front of everyone? My fucking bucket of bolts, I'm going to kill him. Her tiny cocoa is a del delicious treasure, so you should know this breakup is no joke. Even if her source of frustration her, is such a silly boy. tiny cocoa? Wait, what did she just do? She just crushed She said cocoa? she was going to crush cocoa. C cocoa? What cocoa? Does she have a cocoa? Tiny cocoa. I don't, I don't know. know. Just go. I, I, I know that you know this, but I'm going to say it out loud. You don't need anyone, girl. Mm. Me and you, we're gonna cruise. Cruise through this final. Test, hit the carpool lane to success city. Here we go. Miriam brighten up, brightens up, imagining the world rushing through her short bangs, but she hesitates to embrace the feeling all the way. <laughs> You're not gonna saddle up on Colonel Sanders' st stallion and ride off into the sunset without me? Colonel stallion? You mean like you think? Um, of course not. Uh, well, I mean, maybe sort of, but um, there's a there's a pony out there with your name on it. So like, at a, or in a ranch. There's a ranch. See, there is a ranch, big enough for both of us and whoever else we want to bring along. It's not Popper Clank or anyone else you meet today, tomorrow, or this whole year. So what? You're a special person who shouldn't settle for the first someone to show you a little interest anyhow. Miriam, I say you ironically me? and hypocritically about Colonel Sanders. Miriam gives you a big hug and wipes the tears from her cheeks. Yeah, give me a big hug, Kurt, Miriam. You should really review my menu for today. I'm going to make a very special soup. And I bet that Professor Dog is gonna love it. Ugh. While you were pep-talking, Miriam, you completely missed lunch. But that's okay, because you had a better idea of how to spend the time before your exam. Fawning over Colonel Sanders and thinking about him without his bow tie on. You decided mm. to head to the arena early to practice a Call dish. The this is the location of your final challenge. A test of wills, a test of courage, a test of- Clank, courage. what have they done to you? And a chance to beat the pants off of Ben Ben, the supposed madman, and his eviler counterpart. Beat Ashley. the pants off? Like, I'm gonna beat his pants to the point where they fall off? Like, beat in what way? As like planned, you begin to run through the quick test of a recipe you've been working together on. You've been uh, working on. Cameron Queen's famous chicken pot pie. Ah, oh, yes, my chicken pot pie that I learned from home. Mm. After practicing for months, making this dish come second nature to you, and you're able to quickly get a fresh pot pie in the oven. But as soon as you do, your cram session is interrupted by Colonel Sanders. Oh, Colonel. And these beautiful cherry blossom. Yeah, that look at just that. It's flying down. Does somebody leave a window open or something? Or? Cameron Queen, what are you doing here? There's, time, there's still time before the final exam. Oh, just, hmm, you know. Taking it all in, I'm big into visualizing success. I'm looking at my station and picturing victory! The pot pie began to bake, and the smell is slowly filling the air around you. Mm. Visualizing, huh? Well, that ain't too bad. I was hoping you were cooking something delicious. You usually happily share your food with anyone who is hungry. hungry. But the last time you let Can Colonel Sanders get into your head, it cost you a cook-off. I have to focus on the exam, Colonel. You By the way, is Colonel your first your name? Above your romantic desires. But that decision gets hard to stick with when... The oven timer goes off behind you. Oh, 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 oh. You I don't want to make up. it burn. Yeah, we gotta yeah. fess up. We don't make it burn. Don't burn shit. Okay, okay. You got me. Oh my god. I'm doing a bit, a little more than visualizing. I know my nose can smell a pot pie from 400 yards. Not 500, that's because of my nasal damage from the war. There's an oddly specific distance, but you expect nothing less from such an oddly specific man. That's a quarter of a mile, guys. 400 what? 400 yards? 400 yards is a quarter so really? of a mile. Yeah, yeah one that, lap around incredible. the track. Incredible. You you knew it was a pot pie from just the smell? Not just a pot pie, but a chicken pot pie with all buttered crust. And my nose is telling me something else. Oh no, is it burning? Haha, <laughs> no, I can smell it was... Made with a heaping helping of TLC. Tender, loving care. But it'd probably start burning any second if you don't pull it out. Get it out of there. The moment of truth. Dun, 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 dun. Wow. How, wow. It's the best pot pie I've ever tasted and I've always loved country cooking and I could eat this all day. Mm. There's no time left. The final showdown is about to begin. 
Sprinkles lays down the ground rules. There are no rules, that is, except to cook with everything you've got. You step up for the cook-off for a of a lifetime. You decide that mac and cheese plus the pot pie you've been practicing are just the dishes that will push you over the edge to the victory. Meanwhile, both Van Van and Ashley are preparing Van wildly Van Man Man. elaborate dishes per their usual over-the-top selves. Miriam has her giant magnifying glass and several sets of tweezers. She's definitely preparing to go a go big going small. Oh, cute, cute. Colonel Sanders seems to be harnessing his 11 herbs and spices, but he's trying to find a way to improve on something Cookster. perfect. His original recipe, fried chicken. Ha, original recipe, trademark, Richard trademark. Copyright, the intensity Richard, in the room starts to f at full 10 out of 10 with a frenzy of action. Dare I say, we're bringing it up to 11. Everyone is calling out cool special cooking moves as they prepare their food. Wow, this is getting serious. Colonel Sanders This is back. serious. We have to help them. Let's cook the chicken. Let's cook the chicken. Let's cook the chicken. What if it's a baby chick? Oh no! <laughs> Colonel Sanders batters I his love chicken the pets. as it levi levitates through the air. Spontaneous Wonder Pets reference. Egg rush. Wash. Wash. <laughs> Wash. <laughs> the eggs of wrath. He furiously injects ingredients into an itty bitty pot of broth. Yep, yep. Best Ben batters. Baster Bla blaster. Bester blaster. Oh blaster God. Ben Ben flexes his pectorals. Pectorals. <laughs> as he chops open a sea urchin. Let's rock and roll. Like asteroid, because he's got a star. It's it's like a astronomical. Ashley scoops her pastries off the tray with lightning speed. Oh my God. Shallow personality spatula. That makes sense. Even Clint gets in on it. Five dial pressure point chicken cooking technique. Wait, did Clay just learn English? Um, it's the singularity as was fuller told. We mustn't let it happen, or the appliance uprise will take will take us all. Oh my God, the singularity, self destruct. Van Van quickly unplugs Clank and rolls him off to the back door of the I'm area. Cool. We're just gonna wait, wait, wait. What was he plugged into? He's been plugged he on this whole time. <laughs> As you frantically so you're prepare telling me. your dish, you notice Ashley has her spell book out. And is she going to use some dark magic? To okay, I'm confused. Are there two spell books? Yes. Because you remember the spork monster said he found a copy. Oh, and was it a copy? copy? Oh, okay, okay. You've got a book of your own and you're desperate not to let her win another battle. Should you take this opportunity to fight magic with magic? Even if it's most certainly evil. Every magic. villain is lemons. Now we should do it the, hard, the hard way. way. Because the hard way is actually the easier hard way. Remember way. what Colonel Samaras yeah, did? Yeah, that's what he said. That's what he said. That's Who what he said. magic when you've got passion? I'm gonna do it the hard way. Colonel Sanders sees that you've chosen to win on your own terms and gives you a subtle wink from across the room. I believe in you, Cameron, Cameron Queen. I'm waiting your wink. Miriam notices too. <laughs> I've always you believed in me. you, Cameron Queen, since we were little kids because you're my best friend forever. You turn to notice that Miriam is at your station cheering for you. Miriam, what about your desk? If you're here cheering, who is cooking? Who is driving the plane? Tiny food, short cook time. I've actually already done, so I thought it'd help you. That makes a lot of sense. That's a, that's a physically proper thing. Oh, that's sweet. But... Miriam tosses a handful of spices directly into your boiling nudie. Mm -hmm. It's a secret ingredient. It's cocaine or or like, I don't know, something else from However, like, neither of you know that Colonel Sanders made the first ingredient up to throw you off the, the trail of a secret recipe. <gasps> the boiling pot explodes, sending Miriam flying backwards. The watery noodles begin to swirl in the air, bubbling into a dark cloud that thickens and congeals before your very eyes. <clears throat> it is I, Steve. The Spork Monster. Steve, wait, what, what happened to Borko? You're not here to battle me, are you? We spork monsters are many. I think Borko had the day off, uh, but you have conjured Steve. I hate the battle. So, I'd say you're doing pretty all right. Oh, hey, you're in the middle of a cooking competition? I love this stuff. It's better than TV. You crazy kids and your culinary skills really impress me. Mind if I hang out? I'm, I'm sorry, Steve, but I'm kind of in the middle of something. Do you mind? Steve the spork monster notices you got a grimoire stashed behind your cooking station. I see what you're up to. Crisscrossed some magical items and accidentally summoned me, huh? <laughs> yeah, you, you guessed it, sorta. If you're here, would you mind tossing some fresh noodles in a pot of salted water? I'd love to. I've always wanted to be a top chef, actually. You know, when I was just a little spork pup, back in the old country. You can feel Spork Monster winding up to tell you a very long and involved story. You don't know exactly where it came from, but it seems like it's probably lonely out there. DLC material. We can't get to that yet. Gotta pay extra for that one. 
I don't think that exists. Actually, you know what? Maybe you should watch from the stands. I, I really need to focus on this competition. I understand. Uh, it's kind of like that time in monster school that I'd fallen asleep during scare tactics class, and when I woke up... You toss a serious stare at Steve, and he takes the hint. Never mind. I'll tell you later. Good luck! I'm Bye. actually kind of curious. What did he do? Monster school at Monsters University, you know? I bet he knows Mike suffered Sully. this huge setback, you don't know how you could ever win. Summon extra power for the deep down within you! We have to give up. No. Drop out of culinary school. Summon extra power for the deep down within you! I can do this. I have what it takes. I came here to win. Your hair seem your hair turns mac and cheese orange as a culinary energy flows through your body. My heart is pure. My hands are steady. My taste buds have been preparing their entire lives for... Yes, Cameron Queen, you are the chosen one. You will avenge me. The power you've been summoning immediately fades back out. You interrupted my inspiring monologue. Sorry. My heart is pure. My hands are steady. My taste buds have been preparing their entire lives for this moment. I will show the world my cookery. You begin to levitate off the ground, energy coursing through your body. You know with this power you can with this view, with this power you can do anything. Except turn back time, which appears to be super useful because while you were powering up your chicken pot pie overcooked in the oven and it can't be served. <gasps> but don't worry, dear Cameron Queen, you have suffered some setbacks, but it's not all in loss. Impressed with your fortitude, Colonel Sanders decides that you have earned his support. I've been watching you today, and I must say I'm truly impressed. You've been thinking on your feet, rolling with the punches. <laughs> He steps back to your station and stands right beside you. I'm here to help. With this staff of cockness. And, and you've managed to make, and all you've managed to make is mac and cheese and the time is almost up, you're going to need it. But Colonel Sanders, what about the test? What will happen to you? What about the rules? Following the rules has never been my thing. I follow my heart. What a guy. What a guy. What Colonel guy. Sanders unfolds a delicate white towel to reveal the most delicious fried chicken tenders you have ever laid your eyes on. Ta -ta! And besides, sometimes unexpected combinations have surprising effects that surpass their in individual efforts. Are you suggesting... If we combine forces, we can perform the perfect food union! Mac and cheese and fried chicken! Time's up, students! With time expired, it's the moment everyone's been waiting for. You must now prepare to present your dishes. A handful of students stand tall, but the class seems incomplete. It seems we're missing some students. Pop, clank. From off screen, you hear a pure and innocent giggle that can only come from one student. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm flying. Sounds like it's coming from the broom closet over there. Miriam, would you mind? Inside the closet, you see Pop hanging on a broom, hooked by the elastic <laughs> of his underpants. Pop, get down from there right now. Let me guess, did Van Van have something to do with this? When someone asks for a wedgie, who am I to refuse? What a guy. I thought a wedgie was a salad! It looks like Pop is eliminated from the challenge, seeing how he didn't cook anything. I can't feel my legs! <laughs> May I be excused? Sure. You kids and your pranks, I must say, it's not the worst prank in UCSAL history, copyright 2019, but it's not exactly yearbook material. Wait a second. Pranks. Pranks. Clank! Where did that pressure cooker roll off to? You wait to hear a single s signature whirl, beep, or other... Onomatopoeia. Onomatopoeia, but there's none. Somehow you must have gotten unplugged, I guess. Yeah, we'll have to figure that out later. That leaves only four remaining students. Please collect your final projects. Yes. It's been a long semester. Wow, three whole days long. But after days of hard work, the time has come. For me to eat. Miriam, please step forward. Now describe your dish. I've made tender udon noodles in a savory soup bowl. Oh my god, it's so tiny. My word, it's so delicate. It's that teeny witty noodomaki I spy floating in this itsy bitsy bowl. She's gonna work on a specialty area or something. Yes, chef. Please call me Sprinkles. Chef is my father's name. Yes, Sprinkles. And some green tea made from baby tea leaves that I picked myself. Sprinkles carefully sniffs around the dish before opening his mouth and letting just the tip of his doggy tongue dip into the bowl. Sublime! Would anyone else like a taste? Oh, come on! I'm not one of those dogs who doesn't floss. I even have a really cute electric toothbrush for dogs! 
Fine, I'll enjoy it all by myself. And in a flash, the entire meal has been devoured. Not <laughs> that it took much. It was less than a little nibble, uh, nibble's worth of soup. A plus! Rarely do I taste the dish with as much love poured into it as yours. Miriam is overjoyed. She gives you a huge hug. Thank you, Cameron Queen, for helping me believe in myself. You're welcome. Van Van, Van, Van you're up. Now describe your dish. I made... Uni over smooth egg custard in an axe harem urchin cell topped with caviar. Nice. Did you skewer one of the urchin with spines from a second different colored type of urchin? Yes, Sprinkles. A bit much, don't you think? That's exactly why I did it. A bit much is my brand. Doesn't it look cool? Sprinkles leans into sniffing your knee, but he can't get his nose close on account of all the spikes. He begins to paw at it erratically, causing the custard to slosh around. Please be gentle with my cuisine. Finally, Sprinkles goes all in, tongue first, but he can't get past all the needles. He reels back as his tongue is poked and prodded. Ouch! My tongue! The professor appears to be having an allergic reaction to the sting. I can't eat this! I keep poking my tongue! Disqualified! A stunning turn of events. Who would have thought that serving food in a bowl made of needles could make it difficult to eat? Certainly not I. Dejected, Van Van does not go gentle. In go gentle into the night. Disqualified for glamour? Don't discount simplicity. This isn't the last you've heard of me. I'll be back next year. Before forcing huh? us to endure his swollen tongue for another moment, Sprinkles graciously laps a bowl of milk. I know, I know. Yeah, I'm a dog and I drink milk. Get over it. Sometimes it helps calm my agitated tongue. Next student, Ashley. It's time to step up. Now describe your dish. I made orange blossom Turkish delight in a light rosewater syrup topped with French meringue and connected by sugar glass. That actually doesn't sound too bad. Indeed, it's quite love delightful. However, I'd ask that you please refrain from eating it or attempting to taste it in any way. It's very fragile and meant to be a display piece. Don't eat the food? At a cooking school? Go got toast in your ears or something, Cameron Queen? I told you it's a display piece. Actually, I must say, it is beautiful. However, this is a cooking competition at a cooking school. Yeah, which is why I cooked it and did an extremely good job cooking it, too. I didn't realize that we were going to have an eating exam. If I wanted to be judged on eating, I'd go to the College of Eating School for the Hungry. Copyright never. Ugh. I suppose you could smell it if you absolutely insisted, but don't breathe too hard. You might disrupt the sugar spiral. If the food cannot be eaten, it cannot be judged. You're disqualified. That's it. You're done. Get out Rage of here. Rage overtakes Ashley, and she finally cannot help her two-faced routine up. You wouldn't know high-end cuisine if it cooked you! And with that, Ashley storms off to a... <laughs> re <laughs> off to rededicate herself to being the best, but this time without being shackled by trying to face... To fake nice and like... And trying to be fake nice and liked by everyone. I'm a fake bitch! This isn't the last you've heard of me, either! If this class gets any smaller, I'll be teaching myself. You and Colonel Sanders, the final cooks, step up together. Together. Two chefs? What began as a bowl of delicious mac and cheese has become something else. He examines it closely, sniffing and eyeing the bowl. Oh. Oh, I don't have a good feeling about this. From something in the room... Some first, from somewhere in the room, a literal drum roll plays. Just when I thought I've seen everything in this kitchen, you give me this, this thing, and completely blow me away. In my 49 dog years of life, that's seven in human years, I have never tasted anything so delicious and perfectly balanced. It's so delicious, in fact, that everyone passes the class. You pass, you pass, and you pass, and you get a pass. It's an Oprah reference. Everyone gathers around and partakes in the mac and cheese bowl. They all seem to transcend this reality into another dimension. You win! Together, nice. you and Colonel Sanders have made a new item menu. Nice, Colonel Sanders. 
The new item menu is so impressive that even Ben Ben and Ashley are drawn back in by its magnetic fragrance. You didn't see The Last of Us. When they gaze upon your mac and cheese bowl, they admit you are indeed an excellent chef. Sprinkles declares that you have passed, everyone has passed, there were supposed to be more battles, but come on, how could they be better than this one? Right? Now that the school year is complete and everyone has graduated, the students return for one last assignment to get their groove on. The cafeteria has been completely redecorated in order to serve as the site of the school's graduation dance. I didn't get a graduation dance. <laughs> Compared nice. to the massively high-tech cooking area, the humble decor seems downright cute and cozy. DJ Dog is in the house! You knew that Sprinkles was a master chef, but also a world-renowned turntablist? Who would say you can't teach an old dog new tips? hey -o. Whoa. Nice, they've got their casual clothes on. Ashley and Van Van tells everyone they're committed to themselves to righting the wrongs they did while they were the villains. For a moment, you actually believe them. <laughs> Not another haunting. <laughs> no ghosts allowed at graduation. It's clearly written in the school's bylaws. I was never actually a ghost. It was all a trick to get you to finally notice me. Oh, amusing. How are you in Colonel Sanders' house? <sighs> now that everyone's together... The Spork Monster! He totally mellowed out. <laughs> everyone, the Spork Monster is no more. From here out, I prefer that everyone refer to me by my new name, Party Monster. Soon tried to finish what he was say, but everyone was too wrapped up with talking to Spork. Sorry, Party Monster. <laughs> Dejected. Students walk off. <laughs> bye bye, student. Things didn't work out for Miriam romantically, but she found the love in her cooking. And you know, she's gonna do great. A red carpet rolls out on the floor of the ballroom. It's like a call it Hollywood movie premiere. Who would command such an entrance? It's <laughs> why it's Pop! Pop! Of course! He arrived late to the dance, but apparently for a good reason. Walking the carpet, you see a perched atop his dirty chef hat. A crown? Welcome back, Pop! I know you weren't able to complete the final exam and accept your diploma. So we had it mailed directly to your father. We figured it was the least we could do for the school's dean. Oh, <laughs> now I get it. And we get a new wing on the school, not to mention the honor of educating the son of Chancellor Zuck and such. such and such. I just decided to pronounce it fun, like German, like, you know, <laughs> anyway. The music at the dance is interrupted by the sound of sparkling and electric hissing. It's Clank, who has arrived late to the dance. <gasps> now that I've graduated, I can reveal my truth. Whoa, he's doing the talking thing. I am Clank, and I'm not of this world. I am actually from a far away planet in another dimension. What? 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 I actually feel like I knew that this whole time. Now that I have learned the ways of your kind, I must return. Miriam, will you come with me? I don't know what to say. Besides, no, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> I just have to begun. I, I just begun to learn who I really am. It isn't the time for me to devote my life to figuring out who you are, Clank. Yeah, do your own self discovery. <laughs> You're blown away Keep by me out Miriam's it. maturity. It's pretty clear she's managed to surpass you in that regard. Help. <laughs> I understand. Kind of. Humans are weird. A portal opens and Clank disappears through it. Finally, Colonel Sanders arrives with the cherry blossoms. <gasps> Ta -da. Oh. Oh. How did Clayus mate? Look, the pen is now on his breast pocket instead of the, the shoulder one. It's great. Just like the first day you met him, he's come prepared to feed the entire class. However, it's not enough to give them just a bucket of chicken. <laughs> this time it's a full meal. I didn't get nice. to be the most famous chicken man in the history of chicken and man by not remaining, <laughs> reminding people to go out and buy my chicken. The end. <laughs> the end? Question mark? I have no, no way. To keep going. No, no it's, it's not the end. No, it's not. As everyone feasts on their delicious chicken dinner, oh. Colonel Sanders finds you sitting at the edge of the dance floor. Cameron Queen, what are you doing sitting all alone? Oh, you know, I'm just just waiting for the right person to ask me to dance. <laughs> I wonder, might you tell me what are the qualifications that would expect to find such a lucky person? <laughs> His face. Off the top of my head, um, oh, I don't know, spicy musk tidy goatee, and a degree from the University of Cooking School Academy for Learning, copyright 2019, just to name a few. 
It truly is my lucky day. Oh, that was you. <laughs> no, that was you. It still is you. Oh, would you dance with me? Yes, I would love to. As you glide across the dance floor, hand in hand with Colonel Sanders, the future stretches out in front of you. And once my 100th franchise is up and running, I'll be ready to take a day off and I'll be so glad to spend it together with you, Cameron Queen. How sweet. We'll work together and play together. Colonel Sanders stops dead in his tracks. Work together? Um, well, I think this is something I just need to do by myself. But, but it will help you run your restaurants. I don't believe I need help. Besides, based on your time at the school here, do you really think running the restaurants is the best path forward? Uh, Could it be? Uh, you found a love connection, but failed to earn Colonel Sanders' respect as a chef. Can you live with only half of him? Will you be able to endure sharing with him his other love? The love of an entrepreneur? I suppose I could enroll at pastry school. Oh my dear Cameron Queen, I'm sure that you'll find your place eventually. <laughs> oh my along god. along the way, you'll have me by your side. The end. <laughs> oh my god. What a trip. He just insulted me. What an absolute trip. I guess that's the end. What a trip that was. <laughs> Oh my god. So I guess if we play it without, like, getting too involved with him... Maybe? I, I wonder if we'll become, like, the top chef at the school. If, um... And then he'll fall in love with us because we're the top chef? I'd, I'd like to wonder. Yeah, maybe. Like, what if we just completely ignore him and he just falls in love with us? Yeah, like, we go for Maria. Yeah, we could try maybe. that. Maybe. I don't, I don't know. Just not today. No, of course not. Oh, no, he is still a ghost. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He's a ghost like I never a... noticed. I never noticed. I wonder if that's like a thing that happened in the first time or if that's just now. He's just always been that. Well, I mean, he clearly is when it was never a ghost, so. Okay, well, I guess that's it for tonight. <laughs> that's, that's that's it for us. Getting through another. We've, well, I guess we've completed the game. We could go back one day, but I don't know if, I don't know if it needs it. We could try a new game, but I don't know. Put we'll aside later on. I don't know if we need it right now. Yeah. Uh... It was a fun, all wonderful time. And as usual, thanks so much for joining me. You're a sweetheart, as always. That's why I live with you. Yeah. Sure. Anyway, and uh, all right. Let's see what other. Let's see what anybody else is doing. Who's online? Who? 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 Trio Winter Garden is making some art right now, and they're lovely. So let's do that. Go Start the raid. Oh, I can't tell what they're making, but it looks animated. I like it. Thanks, everybody, so much for hanging around. A little impromptu Thursday. I love you, Colonel Sanders Knight. Bye. So long, everybody. It's been wonderful. Can't wait to see you next time. Raiding on! The raid has begun. And that's where we will end our stream. Bye, everybody.